Okay, this video is going to be for my friend Betsy, who's going to borrow our scanner to do the same thing I'm doing. I've been going through a ton of pictures, uh, newspaper articles, other things, including results of various races we've done, and I've been scanning them in, in a variety of different ways. First, I'm going to cover this Canon 9000F scanner and how to use it. So first, you want to turn it on, and then you want to put your pictures in here. And you can actually put your pictures in almost any, any way you want. It looks like only two are going to fit in here right now. Well, on the back of these, we have the date. So 1997-0511. So in order to scan, on a Mac anyway, I have to go to the System Preferences, Printers and Scanners, and down here is the Canon. And I don't know how that showed up. I think it just shows up because I plugged it in. And I say Open Scanner. And it will automatically scan and I have this in detect separate items and I have it at 600 dots per inch. That's the maximum it lets you do a flatbed scan. However, I've found a workaround to get higher resolution. So I'm going to scan these two pictures in. Now these boxes that it comes up with, if you hover over the edge of one, you can, you can resize this picture. And I don't like that the bottom is not touching, so I'm going to pull that down. I don't like that the top is not touching over here, or this edge is not touching over here. And then, another thing is you can rotate these. If the picture was crooked in the scanner, you can actually rotate. And it actually will recognize a crooked picture, and I'll show you that in a second. I don't like that this is at 0.01, so I'm going to change that to 0 0.00. I'm going to click scan and whoops, I'm going to hit cancel. Forgot to do one thing. The date on this was 1997-05-11 and this is the women's running race. So the file will be named that and it's going to name the first picture women's running race blank and then the second picture will be space one. So I'm going to hit scan. And I didn't show you, but I'm scanning them to my pictures folder. So I'm going to go to my pictures folder. And here's the first women's running race picture. And the second one's going to come up in a second. I'm going to have the name Face One. And there's that one. So then. If I wanted to scan another picture, I would open the scanner, take these pictures out, put this picture in, and I'm going to put it in crooked. And then I'm going to click on overview. And you see how it has the angle of 12 degrees and everything looks pretty good except for the, it doesn't quite use the whole picture. So I'm going to go to the edges and adjust that. And then I can click scan. I forgot to rename this. And this will come up Women's Running Race 2. There it is. And look at that. Perfectly straight. So now I could rename this to whatever it is. Alright, now the next thing I scan is pictures that photographers sent me. And you were supposed to order your pictures, but I never did. So these are not useless. So I'm going to put them in the scanner. Come back over here. Okay, so the, the highest resolution I can choose is 600. And I'd really like to scan these in at a higher resolution. And this thing will do a higher resolution for slides and negatives. So if I do transparency positive, it's going to tell me I don't have a piece of equipment in there to do slides. But when, when I'm in transparency positive, I can choose 1200. And then I can go back to flatbed. And it'll stay at 1200 and it will detect the pictures and whoops let me i just moved everything i'm going to click overview okay so it detected three pictures one two three but it also detected some other junk so i'm going to click on it and hit delete click on it hit delete click on it hit delete 
click on it, hit delete. Now, this is 1992 new classic. This looks a little off, so I'm gonna rotate it just a touch. That one looks pretty good, except for I'm gonna bring that up a little bit. So I'm gonna click scan. So there's the three pictures, and if I look at them, not great, but better than not having them at all. It's my wife and her father in an aluminum canoe, and that's me. So that's how I scan those little tiny pictures. I don't know if you remember these pictures from back in the 50s and 60s, but they used to take a picture of you when you graduated from junior high or kindergarten or whatever. And this is a picture of one of my friends. And I used 1200 DPI to scan this, and now it looks pretty damn good. So the last thing I use this scanner for is slides. I have a little viewer here, which I can put a slide in and hold up to the light and see what it is. I gotta look at light. Okay, this looks like nothing. I'm gonna scan it anyway. And to scan it, I need to use one of these. And this is for negatives, film negatives, and I'm not sure what this is for, but slides use this. And what you do is you remove this, place this circle over this, which is going to be very difficult to see, and you drop it in place. And then you put your slides in, and I have not figured out which way to put them in yet. It doesn't really matter because you can fix this later. I'm going to drop them in. They look like they were in right side up. Now I'm going to change these, this to transparency positive. And this does a lousy job of detecting your pictures. So what I have to do is go to 1200 dpi and I look for where the picture is and I expand a little bit and I manually kind of draw the squares. I don't know why it's so poor at detecting the pictures, but it is. So if I draw those squares and make sure I have the so that's a little high and this one can't really tell because of the picture. That one looks pretty good. Now I'm going to scan these in and I got to give them a name. And I don't even know what this is, so I'm going to just say unknown and scan. So this first unknown, that's going, that's the Boston Prudential Building. And it looks like I missed the edge of the slide, but I'm going to have to adjust that later. A lot of dust in the picture, and it's just, it looks like somebody's in a convertible, so no idea what that is. I'm going to delete it. Go to the next one. Looks uh, upside down. Looks like know. it's upside down, so I'm going to know. rotate it. The sky yeah, line. that's the skyline somewhere. Not worth saving. So I'll delete that one. Next one is a running race. It's John Goldsmith. <laughs> it looks like I have the whole picture, so I'm going to rename that to... I don't know when that would be, but probably 1980-ish. John Goldsmith running. And then, this last one, that looks like a winter marathon I did in the... Albany area. So I'm going to rename that to be 1981 Albany Marathon. And it was like a winter marathon. It was good training for the Boston Marathon. That's it for using the scanner. Now I have some other things like newspaper articles and things that are more text related. I like to use a different thing, which is the Genius Scan. And you click on the plus to create a new scan. It's going to recognize the article. It's having trouble. I don't know if that got the whole article. Whoops. When you're, when you're done, you click done. 
it's only a single page and now if I look at this I think I cut off the very bottom cut off the very edge of very edge of this so to fix that what I do is I've been taking a piece of paper and the piece of paper can't be wider than the article so I will fold it in half and then I will try to line that up so that the bottom looks good and then I'll scan this in and unfortunately we're in bad light here because what I usually do is go over to the windows where there's really good light and I line this up and I want to do a brand new scan and I go like that and that got the whole article he looks a little fuzzy so I'm gonna okay anyway that's good enough then I click done and then you can rename these right here but what I prefer to do is just share it to my iMac with that if I didn't do that, I'd probably email it to myself. Okay, when I airdrop things, they go to my downloads folder. So if I go to my downloads folder, here's that latest PDF that I scanned in. And when they're not in the correct orientation, if you open them in preview, as opposed to Adobe Acrobat Reader, you can rotate them. So I could rotate that slide, scan the same thing in twice, so I could rotate that. And I don't know if one of these looks better than the other. I think the second one looks a little better. So I'm going to go to the first one and click delete. And now I have that. So it's still just an image, but I like it better because I can put multiple page things all in one file. I quit preview and let's do another one, which would be like, let's do a short one. Yeah, the Josh Films results I would definitely do in the PDF thing. But I'm going to do this other one called the Marathon Canoe Stroke. I'm going to click on Genius Scan and I'm going to add the first page and move over. Record the second page and click Done and share it to my Mac. So there's the Marathon Canoe Stroke. Both pages are correctly oriented, so I don't need to do anything other than rename the file to the Marathon Canoe Stroke. So that's what I've been doing. I hope you can follow these instructions, and I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching.